Hello again, folks. I am Blunty, and I've just come back from adventuring in Shanghai, China, and also Melbourne, Australia, one of which was slightly more exciting for me than the other, just on the basis that I've never been there before. That would be China. But I did a whole bunch of fun stuff that I'm going to tell you all about in the coming days or weeks or however long it takes me to get through it. So like I said, I went adventuring with the Nikon people in Shanghai, China, where I was testing out the new V1 camera. And if I was a smarter man, I would show you, I would hold up the V1 camera, but I'm not that smart when I was setting up this video because I'm actually using it to record with right now. I'm testing it in this studio set up here. Seems okay. Looks okay on the monitor back there. Anyway, well, um, wait a second, I have a plan. See, look, there it is, recording me as I record it, as it records me for you, and back and forth, and nobody make an Inception joke, because Inception doesn't mean recursive. Inception was just the name of the movie where recursive things happened. So don't make the Inception gag. I'm sick of hearing it. I'm sick of people who, implying that the word Inception itself means some sort of recursion matrix. But yeah, there it is. Nikon V1. Very, very pretty camera. Here's one of the lenses from it. I even got a tour of the Nikon factory where they build the new Nikon One system cameras, the V1 and the J1, the lenses, and all the Nikon compact cameras. I ate silkworms and fish lip soup because basically you can't go to China without eating some bugs and bits of fish that usually get thrown away. For the record, they were delicious. We got horribly lost and went around in circles on Chinese freeways for hours upon hours, thanks to the world's most incompetent tour bus driver. We all hate him with a fiery passion that will burn forevermore in the depths of the universe as it dies a slow, cold death. I was almost killed several times in taxis and on motorcycles because Shanghai apparently has no road laws at all and operates purely on some sort of terrifying combination of video game rules and survival of the fittest. There was lots of pretty scenery and Chinese fishing villages, which were much more relaxing than the Chinese roadways. Oh, and lots and lots of Chinese beer and assorted spirits, some of which we also set on fire, because fire is fun. <laughs> The Nikon folks were fantastic hosts, and I had what I can only describe as an unforgettable time. But there was no time to waste when I came back from China. I flew back into Sydney, I came back to my apartment, I switched out my suitcase for another pre-packed suitcase, I went boom, straight back down to Melbourne on that same day, because then I was off to the Armageddon Pop Culture Expo, where I could hang out with some of my nearest and dearest friends, of whom Ali is by far the most ridiculously cute, I think you will agree, share a beer or two with the man who played General Zod in Small nice bloke by the way, and then come back home to Sydney where I am now narrowly avoiding falling into some fatigue based coma purely on the strength of various energy drinks of which I downed two just before I did this video so I had enough energy to seem like I was really excited about the whole thing because I really am but I just didn't have the energy to seem like I was excited about it because I'm so friggin tired from all the drinking and travelling and plane trips and walking around and photographing and madness. But I had an astonishingly awesome week which is why there's been no videos for the past week and why even on my Twitter stream there was nothing because in China you can't get to Twitter because of the great firewall of China and all that sort of rigmarole. But I'm back now. Videos are incoming, including several more from China, of course, and including, naturally, the full-on proper review of the Nikon 1 series camera, specifically the V1, which is the one I had to test. There's also the J1, but I'll get into the differences in the actual review. For now, though, more videos coming soon. I have to go pass out in a corner somewhere and drool on my shirt. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty, and I will catch you next time.